We are going to be working on our one point perspective artwork and we are going to be creating a um, kind of a planet with buildings that look like they're coming out of different areas of the planet. Um, so what I want you to do with this, I want, or what I want you to do is start with a circle. You can use something, you know, like a tape roll or um, a bucket or something that you find to create your circle or you can freehand it. Um, I'm going to use a roll of tape just to create my image and you can put it anywhere on your paper that you want. You are working in the landscape position which means the wide position. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my circle in pencil. I'm going to draw a little harder but you should draw lightly. I'm drawing harder so that you can actually see it. So there's my circle. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my ruler to draw my horizon line. Your horizon line should go through the planet somewhere. Um, and remember your horizon line is the line that cuts the paper into two halves. They don't have to be equal halves, but two halves. And again, this needs to be light because it's going to go away eventually. On the horizon line, you need to have your vanishing point and that should go somewhere on your planet as well. I don't care if it goes over here or over here. Um, it'll probably look better if you do it in the center though. So I'm going to do mine right in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the buildings in. So what I want you to do is decide on the shape of the building that you want. And for mine, I basically just stuck to squares. Um, but choose how tall you want the building to be. If I want it to extend way out to here, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to use my ruler and I'm going to draw the shape that I want. Please don't freehand straight lines for this project. You will need the ruler. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a square. This is going to be like a rooftop. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bring it to my vanishing point. So I need to line my ruler up with the corner here and line it up with my vanishing point and I'm going to carefully draw the line and remember some of this will get erased. Come to all of my corners to see where which ones will go all the way to the vanishing point. Testing all corners. I won't go through my shape though so if I'm testing this corner it goes through my shape so I can't do anything with this one. Okay, It's way back here. Can't do anything with that because I'm not going to go through the shape. So that is all the corners that I can do anything with. And now the next thing is I need to add the ground level or the level that is on top of the, the planet. So I'm going to create a parallel line with my ruler next to the rooftop here. Parallel means they'll never intersect. I'm going to let it drop down the side of my building. And I'm going to draw a line at the bottom. This is my ground floor. This is my rooftop. We're trying, it's kind of a bird's eye view if your bird was in outer space. Parallel with the rooftop again. I like to put a pen, my pencil right down here because I know that my line goes across this way and I want it to come down to there so I'm just going to let it creep down till it hits the pencil and then I'm going to draw the line this way. Now I need to get rid of any lines that I do not need. So this is now going away because it's actually behind this building. The building is not see-through. So this is going to go away. And anything under here is going to go away. Leave your vanishing point because all of your lines are going to go to your vanishing point. That's my first building. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw another one and let me do a different shape so that you can see what a different shape would be like. So I'm going to do, maybe I'll do a triangle. And you want to do a little cluster of buildings next to each other. So I'm going to do at least two buildings when I do it. At least two next to each other. So I'm going to do a triangle. My triangle is going to hit this building over here and I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go through it. And then I'm going to finish off my triangle. It's back behind that taller rectangle square building. And then I'm going to come to my corners and point it at my vanishing point. It always goes from your corner to the vanishing point. Always. So I'm going to draw the line again. And then I need to go parallel with my rooftop and drop it down to where I want the ground floor to be and draw the line. Then again I'm going to go in and get rid of any lines I no longer need. 
and I have two buildings. You're going to keep doing those little clusters, and then we'll add in a little bit of land to hold them up. Um, so I'm going to kind of fast forward so you can see a few more clusters of buildings going in. Okay, so I did three clusters of buildings. Um, I did them all with two. You could add some with three um, to make it a little more interesting. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and add your little landforms that are holding your buildings up on your little earth here or on your little planet. So I'm just going to use like a wavy line um, to show like a land formation. However you want it to look is fine. So anywhere you don't have the land formation is going to be considered like your ocean. I forgot before I added that that I should have gotten rid of my vanishing point now. And I should also go ahead and erase my horizon line. I no longer need those things to create this effect because I've already put in the 3D looking aspects of my artwork. I've already created that feeling of depth in my artwork. Okay. So there's my planet with my little buildings emerging off of it. The next thing is you can add some additional planets out here if you want to. Um, you know, just some round shaped planets. Wherever you want, or if you don't want, that's fine too. Okay, and then you're going to Sharpie outline everything. And we will be using Sharpie to create the galaxy. Um, or we'll be using Sharpie to color in our planet area, and we'll be using watercolor paints to create like a galaxy background. Um, but we do need to add in some windows and things so that these actually look like buildings. So here is how you will add things like windows. So for example, if I'm adding things like a windows to the building, like a round building, they need to be rounded windows. So you need to give it that curve. This would be kind of like office style windows. Down here I can put in like a little door, okay, if I want to add in lines like this to kind of segment the office windows off, I could do something like that. They should look like they're getting bigger as they get closer to you. So let me show you how to do it like individual windows. Um, you're going to come in. And I often just put like a straight line across where I want the bottom and the top to be. Okay, and then I just go in. And you need to make this, this parallel with the sides of the walls. So that your windows have the correct angle. So this would be parallel with this one. Coming across. Okay, so you could even leave it like that and then do more rows of those windows. Or if you wanted to create smaller windows you would just come in and add a line, kind of like that, and just erase where you didn't want the, where you wanted the window sill to be, kind of like that. Or you could leave it like that even. Okay, um, so you're just gonna go in and add different kinds of windows. You will want some little doors down at the bottom. Remember it's further away if it's all the way down there by the ground. Now I'm going to just take you through um, the Sharpie aspect of it, and you're going to be using colored Sharpies to do this. You can see that I didn't finish everything, but for time's sake, I'm just going to demonstrate um, the galaxy part, which you won't complete until you have finished, obviously, sharpening everything in black and coloring in with Sharpie. Um, you sh there shouldn't be really any white space left. Um, everything should be done in colored Sharpies, outlined in black Sharpies. If you're doing your other planets, they should also be outlined and colored in. Um, and then you're going to be using the watercolor paints that look like these. And what I want you to do is I want you 
To use the paint, you're going to need a little bit of water and a paintbrush, a nice bigger paintbrush, not too small. And you're really going to stick a lot to the purples and the blues. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab some and then you're going to kind of dab it along where you want that to start. Try not to go on to your sharpie areas. you got to be very careful when you get around those. Um, and if you want, you can just grab some blue, dip your, you know, get some more water. And don't worry too much about going right next to the other color. The more times you go around, the brighter your color will be. And again, just be really careful that you're not going where your sharpie is. Kind of maybe outline it a little bit. Um, and then dab with the paint. Do not go into your sharpie areas. So you're just going to continue around so that your entire sky um, galaxy area is filled up um, and then you should have completed all your sharpie and then your painting and everything will have color and then we will go in and add our final details of stars and I will demonstrate how to do that for you at a later time. So this will take you all the way almost to the end of your project. If you have any questions please ask me.